Right. Paul McDermott, uh, York High School class of 1974. I'm back here to present for the current crop of York musicians. I've had a wonderful day. I've had all kinds of pleasant surprises. Uh, it's been just as inspiring for me as hopefully it has for the kids. And I'm here to tell you that the obvious reasons for music, the performance aspect of it, the entertainment aspect of it, the things that I think are more celebrated and, and probably culturally speaking anyhow, more stressed uh, and get more attention, I think there's a, a, a different way to look at it. I've got a different perspective on music and why I do it and even though it is really wonderful to perform Broadway shows and to perform movie scores and to perform with famous entertainers w with whom I've had the, the good fortune to to, to back up and be a part of their tours and part of their uh, live performances. As, as uh, fun as that is and as exhilarating as that is, I have to be honest uh, and tell you that there's a deeper uh, and far more profound reason for it, for music itself, for, for performing it, for keeping it in your lives, keeping it in your ears and keeping it in your souls. And of all the performances uh, that I have had the pleasure of being a part of over the years, the ones that have been by far the most meaningful and have made me feel the most useful as a human being and as a helper and as a healer and as a musician, frankly, happen where there are no footlights, uh, there are no special effects, uh, there's no backup uh, group, uh, there's no production values or budgets to speak of. It's when I'm standing in the foyer of the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, Arizona, behind my steel drums with a, with a little bit of backing uh, tracks to uh, sort of fill out the sound, when I am in a nursing home performing for people who, for whom uh, the, uh, the experience of music is, is uh, long, uh, not, not ever forgotten, but, but no longer a part of their daily lives and how you can reawaken their souls and you can make them come out and come alive in ways that no other form of interaction uh, will, will achieve. It is palpable, it is powerful, it is real, and I have seen it time after time after time, and I would much rather see a tear running down the cheek of an 87-year-old woman in the throes of dementia because I was able to connect, connect with her musically than hear 10,000 people on their feet laughing and stomping because they were merely entertained. Mm. And this program that York has going, where the gigameter, where you're going out to these communities and you are actually focusing on those kinds of performances, you know, you may not, there may not be an MC, and there may not be a fog machine, and there may not be a whole lot in the way of, of production, uh, but you are going to find that to be your most fulfilling performances and your most fulfilling contacts on the purely human spiritual level. Uh, trust me on this one, because uh, I've been doing this a long time, Take a look at me. Uh, 1974 was my year of graduation, and it's almost been nonstop performing since then. What you are doing with this program uh, could not be more noble, could not be more useful, and I couldn't be prouder to say, once a Duke, always a Duke, and stay with it, because music is not just a distraction. It is not merely entertainment. It is absolutely vital and absolutely necessary. Now go out and let people know that you get it.